Okay, let's go over how to actually make one of these fidget spinner turntables with a tuna can and with a CD and a bottle cap. All right, you should have the fidget spinner. Check it, make sure it works pretty well. These plastic tabs can be pried off. You need to get a dull knife, slide it under and pry just a little bit around the edges. You have to work your way around little by little. And now you can see the bearings that make it spin so well. The bearings in the middle are different than the bearings on the edge. The bearings in the middle are extremely smooth. When you hold the plastic, it's pressed into the middle and that middle bearing stays still and it's the outer race that moves. What's nice about the tuna can is that the fidget spinner fits inside here pretty good. You need the cap up so that it can rest on the floor. I'm gonna roll up a little tape making sure not to get tape in the center. Then you just take the fidget spinner and center it on the can. There is room to move it around a little bit. You gotta make sure that it's right in the center or the can will wobble. Let's see how we did. Pretty good. Now we need to make a tab to hold the string on and we're gonna use the paper clip. That's about right. You lay it right on the edge of the can and then apply the tape. All right, there we have it. Now I've taken some thread, tied a loop in one end, taped a quarter to the other end, and then I can hook the loop onto the paper clip and wind it up. The quarter is just draped over the edge of the table. A little bit of friction here, but not much. It's pretty thin thread. Let's see how it works. Aside from having the right diameter, the tuna can is pretty low, so it won't tip over, and it's got a solid in it with some liquid, but you can't have something like soup. The can will spin and the soup won't turn, so you want something solid in there. Another thing that's nice about the tuna can is it's got a rounded edge at the top. Another tuna can will nest right on top of that and it won't go anywhere. And that's something that we'll be doing later. We'll be spinning two tuna cans. If you want to have a larger platform, just get a spare CD. Put it right on top, center it. It'll be great. You can tape it under the bottom. No tuna can, we'll make one out of a CD and a bottle cap. The cap has to be fairly wide. If it's too narrow, it's just going to tip over. This cap is tall enough for me to wrap around the string. For this one, the cap goes up. Make sure it spins. If the center bearing touches the table, it'll drag and slow it down. So you can press this out a little bit. And it's tricky. You got to push. And now you can see that the bearing has come out. You don't want it out too far. Just enough so you have some clearance. Okay, the bearings are raised up just a little bit. This goes on here. The CD goes on top there. Now we just have to tape it all together. We have to pry this cap off. Then we can tape it to the bottle cap. Center this and then apply the tape to the edge. You can't put the tape close to the center or else it's gonna interfere with the bearings. Okay, I got it all taped up. Now we tape the cap to the CD. Hot glue would probably work better than my tape. It's on there pretty snug and centered. And now we attach the paper clip. So this is gonna get taped to the cap. It's on like that, and then we put the tape on. And now we have the little pin to hang the string. When you assemble this, make sure you're putting it on the side where the bearings are protruding. Snap it in. And there we have it. 
If they're not in right, you can adjust this by pushing the bearings in and out. Not bad. Now carefully put the string on the pin. And we can wind this around right over the edge of the table. Here we go. It's working great. Since the disc is totally uniform, it can be hard to see where it's going. Uh, sometimes I put a flag on here like this and put a dot with the marker. Makes it way easier to see. Now, if I was going to put a stack of quarters on here, I'm going to apply a little tape. I just roll it up a little bit, put it right on the edge, and then the quarters can stick to that so that they don't go flying off when we spin it around. Now, if you want to, you can try clamping your pulley to the edge of the table to run the string over, but you probably don't have to. Now, I know there's going to be some friction here. But whatever friction you have is going to be the same amount of friction when you put the quarters on here and you do the experiment with the quarters. And then when you do the subtraction, it's going to come out. So I don't think you're going to get a lot of error due to the friction. Well, here we have the quarters with no tape holding them onto the turntable. Have fun.